Have you ever wondered what the hype was about? Monster, Relentless, Red Bull and even Coca-Cola to name a few. Energy drink is becoming more and more available in today's society without the ingredients being researched fully. So what is in the ingredients and what effects does it have on you? We've decided it's time to run real life experiments and do the research that needs to be done. But first, to gauge how many young people actually drink the energy drinks, we went to a college and asked them how often, if at all, they drank it and if they understood the effects it had on them. Um, I'd say like once every two weeks, not that frequent really. Once a day? Uh, hardly ever. Um, I'd say very limited. I know that it's quite well documented that there are quite questionable things in there, but I'm not sure what all of them do. Limited, I know some of the things that it can cause, some of the things that it has in it, but it hasn't really put me off now. It put me off to begin with, but I, I just love the taste, pretty much. I wouldn't really know of any other ingredients. After realising not many of them knew what they were consuming in the energy drinks, we took one of the leading brands and investigated what was actually in the ingredients. This drink has a variety of ingredients. Some can be more harmful than others. So let's take a look at the first. Citric acid is found in many fruits, but if mixed with sodium benzoate, it could create a carcinogenic benzene. Second, we have taurine. It has no proven positive or negative effects on people. Third, we have caffeine, which is a highly addictive substance with many well-documented side effects. There is also guarana. It contains a lot of caffeine and causes a lot of the side effects that caffeine does. Ginseng is last on our list with some of the strangest side effects from male breast enlargement to erectile dysfunction. It's not a proven fact that the drinks are themselves addictive, but it's a well-known fact that caffeine is. We wanted to know if anything else happened when you started consuming the drinks, so we ran a real-life experiment. We asked Abby, a 21-year-old hairdressing student who also works part-time at the local cinema, to start a diary for us and consume one energy drink a day. Here's what happened. My name is Abby and I'm doing a experiment with cat. I'm going to be drinking some blue charged drink every day, energy drink, to see how it affects me. And I don't normally drink energy drink, so it's going to be very interesting. The time is now 12-ish and I'm drinking my first drink. It's day two of, um, of my energy drink experiment. And how are you feeling when driving now? I'm feeling good. I feel, I feel awake. I feel uh, fine. I've had one energy drink today and I feel fine. But apparently I've been a bit moody today. But that's it. We shall see how I feel in the morning. What about the other side of the spectrum? If you have to give up energy drink. This is where we come to our heavyweight drinker, Illies. She's 18 and a student and a part-time sales assistant. She's been drinking energy drink for four years, having about three to four cans a day, with it varying a little. We asked her to give it up completely, but only allowing her to have about 500ml of Coca-Cola every day. Here's what happened. Day one, I've only just woken up. It doesn't look like it because I've just done my hair. Um, I feel so rough at the moment. I'm going to go and get my energy drink. I'm used to having a drink every three hours. And now I'm not. Do you feel like you need one? Yeah. Okay, just finished work. Snapped at a few people. My manager, mum. But other than that, it's been a good first shift without any to jinx. Okay, so it's day three. I've been up since half eleven. But it's now twenty to two. I just haven't got the energy to get out of bed. I'm hungry. I'm tired and I'm grumpy. There are people telling me that already. Tell me I look ill. Yeah, we're now half eight, been in bed and then just about to jump back in. So what happens if you want help? We asked Mel Brimcombe, health advisor at Fairham College, what advice she gives to students coming to her with these type of problems. It seems to be really, really common. Um, a lot of students do seem to use energy drinks and I've also come across students taking caffeine pills. I think a lot of students realise that caffeine in its effect will sometimes give you more, more energy, you know, um, and I think a lot of students realise that caffeine can help to, to keep them awake. 
but what they don't think is then they can't go to sleep and it will make them agitated it, it has lots of other effects I think they just focus on the one effect that they want and they don't think on the bigger picture however I think some students are more aware of the side effects but choose to ignore them Yeah, I would be talking to them, giving them information and talking to them actually about the long term sort of effects. Um, it is proven that actually to, to drink Red Bull etc in large quantities before an exam actually will have an adverse effect on you. It does impair your concentration, it does make you agitated, it can heavily affect your mood and I tend to focus on, yeah okay, if you really feel the need to, to, to get a little bit more energy, can we look at alternative ways of getting that, you know, eating a better diet, looking at your sleep patterns, because the other thing is caffeine in large quantities will affect sleep pattern, which then makes you feel tired, therefore you drink more caffeine and it kind of goes round and round in circles. Now we know how to deal with addiction, let's see how Abby's getting on. Yeah. Well then. So, it's day three of my energy drink experiment. <laughs> I feel fine, feel tired. I'm going to go to work today. And mm -hmm. I shall tell you later how I feel. <laughs> and um, actually I'm in quite a good mood now, but all day. I've been quite grumpy. Mum said I was quite grumpy this morning. I'm a bit rude really at work. But it's all good. I still don't feel like I'm craving energy drinks though. Or really need it. I'm only drinking one. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Y
want to bitch slap someone. Day eight. Oh yeah, I get it back. I must be off it for a week, but I'm going to stick with my age She kept to what she said and she's back to drinking her three to four cans a day regardless of what people might say about the side effects. She's even experienced some. She told me about one time where things got particularly bad. It was back in October 2009. I had literally just started college. Uh, where I woke up one morning to find growing pains in one of my legs. Uh, which I didn't really think anything of because everyone gets growing pains. It was then the next day it kind of moved to my other leg. And then the next day. And then so on it just gradually moved its way up my body. Um, if I'd moved my arm it would then trigger a spasm through my body and it would just hurt so much that we went to the doctor um, he wasn't sure what it was at first um, he started to think it was diabetes so he put me through loads of tests um, which came back negative um, he started then to blame my diet which wasn't a good diet it was literally pizza, Haribo, Pot New York and loads of energy drinks I think I was on about 8 to 12 cans a day which according to the doctor, is too high of caffeine intake. It's up to you whether you wait for more detailed research into the long-term effects of the ingredients or risk getting such serious diseases as cancer from the ingredients in these cans.